If you want to increase your visibility when you're out on the trail at night, then you're going to want to check out this Rough Country LED Rock Light Kit featuring four LED rock lights and it's going to fit all off-road vehicles. So let's get installed on our 2018 JL Wrangler. These rock lights feature a total output of 20 watts with 2000 lumens being produced by them. They include a wiring harness, four brackets, as well as four super cool lights to go underneath of your off-road vehicle. Now they're IP68 rated, meaning that they're going to be waterproof and last a long time underneath your off-road rig. Let's get them installed on our 2018 four-door, show you how to wire them up and see how bright they are. All right guys, so as you can see, we're at the front passenger side fender of our four-door JL Wrangler. Now, these rock lights are really universal. You can use them on a pickup truck, on just about anything that you've got a location for two holes to go. Could actually include some self-tapping bolts. If you have a frame or anything like that that doesn't have any holes, feel more than free to use those. However, with our JL, we've already got some holes in the frame that already have some bolts into them. So I figure instead of drilling into our brand new vehicle, we're gonna use some of those existing bolts. So in the front of our JL, we've actually got a brake line bracket right here with the 10 millimeter bolts on it. Now that holds on your factory brake line as well as the ABS line. Luckily enough for us, there's a nut already welded into the frame there and this only uses a 10 millimeter socket to pull it out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it out, slide this bracket on and then reattach it. This is a really convenient way to mount this bracket up without having to drill any holes and it's gonna be nice and sturdy. There's one on each side at the exact same point so you have the exact same light output then we'll move on to the rear. We've got our 10 millimeter socket, we'll get this bolt pulled out. Now that the bolt is out, I'm going to put that through the top hole on our bracket. Make sure that this other bracket goes back into the notch up top there and get this started. It's all tightened down here. Now, as you can see, we've got the wiring lead that comes off the back of it. We're gonna go ahead and put all four of them on before we do any wiring. And this is gonna be as simple as running it up to the included wiring harness relay, getting that all hooked up. So let's move on to the rear. Do the exact same on the other side for this one. Go on to the rear and I'll show you how to get those mounted as well. We're gonna pull this 10 millimeter bolt right here that also holds on the brake line for the rear. Get that loosened up. It'll be as simple as pulling it off, putting the bolt through it the exact same way we did with the front. Place the Rough Country bracket over top of the brake line bracket and then tighten down that 10 millimeter socket. It'll sit perfectly. You don't have any interference with that cross member that goes across right in front of it. So it'll sit on there nicely. Repeat that same process on the other side. Then we're gonna get to the wiring. So now with everything mounted up, we've repeated the same process on the other side. It's time to run some wires so we can get some power to the lights. Now, when you have your harness, you've got four of these plugs. These plug into the lights and give power to them, but you wanna make sure that you separate the long wire from the short wire. There's two short and two long. The longs go towards the back of the vehicle because it's a farther distance from the source of power, which is gonna be your battery. Run these to the back. These are gonna to go to the front, and then we'll show you how to hook it up to your battery and make the switch work. If you've got all the wires run, make sure you run them along the frame rail nicely, and then all you need to do is hook up the positive and negative to the battery terminal of your off-road rig. Now in our case, it's over here on the passenger side. We're gonna loosen up the two terminals, put them underneath, and then we'll have power to our switch. Turn them on and see how they look. All right, check it out guys. Our rock lights are installed in our JL. They're extremely bright. Plus they were super simple to install by using a factory hole that we already had in the Jeep's frame. Now these are your universal rock light kit. They'll fit any off-road vehicle, give you a ton of light out on the trail. You saw how bright they were when the lights were all turned off. So they're really gonna help you see what your axle's doing at nighttime. Now you can find them right here at cjponyparts.com.